Yesterday, we looked at rounding two digit numbers to 10. Today, we're going to round three and four digit numbers to 10 using the same method. Let's recap on the method we used yesterday. One, identify the multiple of 10 before and after the number. Two, place the number on the number line. Three, which multiple of 10 is it closest to? Look at the ones digit and use the rhyme to help you decide if you are not sure. Four or below, let it go. Five and above, give it a shove. We're going to look at two examples. One where we're rounding a three digit number to its nearest ten, and then one where we're rounding a four digit number to its nearest ten. I've already drawn my counters in my place value chart to help me. The nearest multiples of 10 to 654 are, uh, I can see that 654 has five tens, so the multiple before must be 650 because of those five tens, and the multiple after must be 660 because that's 10 more. And I'm just writing each of those multiples on each side of my number line. And I'm going to put my number where I think it roughly goes on there. Well, 654 is just under halfway because 655 would be about halfway. As I'm rounding to 10, I need to look at the digit in the ones column. There are four ones in 654. So I know I need to round it down to 650. That means 650 is my answer. Round 1175 to the nearest 10. You may notice that my place value chart has got an extra column in it. That is because we are working with a four digit number now, so we have a thousand column too. The nearest multiple of 10 to 1175 are, well, I can see that this time we have got seven tens. So the multiple of 10 before must be 1,170. And 10 more would be 1,180. So again, I'm putting them at each side, by the side of our number line, and I'm going to put my number that I'm rounding where it needs to go roughly on the number line. Well, 1,175 would be directly in the middle. Because 5 is half of 10. As I'm rounding to 10, I need to look at the digit in the ones column. There are five ones in 1175. So I know I need to round it up. I need to give it a shove, which means our answer is 1000. 180. Now it's your turn. On the screen are the questions from today's task. You need to round the numbers to the nearest 10. Remember to look at the digit in the tens column to help you write the multiples on either side of the number, and then look at the digit in the ones column 
to help you decide whether to round it up or down.